This is what three weeks in Florida looks like. looks like. And it was a struggle, let me tell you. And we left some water and some biscuits in the room because we just couldn't get them. Oh, I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> what? We just got an electric shock off the lift. In you come. So, for the last time, lobby. <laughs> We're going home. I want to. <laughs> I kind of do. I want to see the dogs and the cats and, and things, but I, I don't. I do. I mean, I want to see my dogs and my cats. I also want to see in Florida forever and ever and ever. <laughs> We need different updates. Yeah, we, we, next time we cannot do this because we're not of four cases. Okay, now we just have to get it to the car. So you didn't have to go and it. Alright, okay. So it's easy to go. It's not easy to go, it's horrendous leaving. Ooh, I could buy more, I could do more shopping. In case you hadn't noticed, that's why I can't do any more shopping. I could, I could buy more. I'm really helping him so much, I'm just standing here and watching and holding the camera. So we haven't shown you this yet, all trip. This is our rental. This is the Prius. The big white Prius. We never gave it a name actually, which is unlike us, usually the higher cars get names. We've just called it the Prius. I think a title is better than a name for this car. It's really nice inside it actually. It's also very messy, I think, because we've been in it and not put stuff in the rubbish. Um, <laughs> obviously, it's a hybrid. And it, it just about takes all of our many, many, many cases. Come and I'll show you the boot. The boot's a bit weird because it doesn't have a shelf, so you can't cover your cases in the car, but the car will be staying here while we're in Universal. The thing that's really, really weird if you've ever seen a Prius is this. This is the inside of the boot. What is the wee window for? What, what is the point of this thing? It's very awkward when you're looking out of it. Let's say this like I drive it. I've never touched the steering wheel of the car. No, let alone licked out the rear view mirror, but David tells me and he's reliable at these kind of things. I'm not shutting it dear, I'm showing them. So this car was a mid-size hire. Um, it was a Class C with British Airways or Avis and actually I was really pleased when we saw it. I sort of did a little happy dance because I like the Priuses and I've always wanted to try one. I am pretty pleased with it and it's fit all of our luggage in it. Which for a mid-size car was kind of a push when we had so many cases. Because we had been here for three weeks and done the cruise and the Halloween costumes and things like that. So that's my excuse and I'm just going to stick to that excuse as to why I've got six cases. Two of them are carrying We'll be fine. I have been left in charge of the luggage cart. I'm waiting for Dave to come back. Would it be very, very, very wrong of me to get in the luggage cart and get a, a burly? <laughs> this is going to end in tears. Oh, it's not actually. That's quite. That's that. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Until it started moving and I can't steer it because I'm sitting in it. I think I might need caught. <laughs> no, I think you'll need to get me out. <laughs> oh no, do it. Here, he's on. Catch the trolley, catch the trolley. Da -da -da -da. Well, you missed the lift while we were waiting, and I was supervising the luggage cart and decided to sit in it. Do you 
know you'll already know this. We're on our way to Isles of Adventure for our last tour a few hours before we go to the airport. You've probably already seen that video because knowing me I put it up before I put the travel vlog up. If I haven't said it already, this is our travel vlog. Hello, welcome. And we are on our way home. Probably there are long holidays. We missed the lift. <laughs> Might be my fault. It's usually my fault. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> my fault. <laughs> you filming a trolley? But this is an interesting trolley. Like lift. In the lift. So there's an area here where you can print out your boarding passes for free and you just come, you don't need a permission, it's between the restaurant and the shop and it's where the car hire desk is and that's really convenient. So we just used the special um, boarding pass printing area to print our boarding passes and I managed to get us moved from our seats on the Gatwick leg of the flight to sort of front row seats so we've got nobody who can recline in front of us. And like the whole way here when David had some Danny's knee. What's that? So what did you think of the Aventura Hotel then? It was good. It definitely was really good actually. Definitely come back again. Yeah. In fact, I would say it's been our favourite hotel that we've stayed on this trip. Yep. So we paid the $5 for a luggage cart because it made life a little bit easier. Still leave me with these two though. I have two four wheel cases, but not all four wheels on both cases want to go the same direction. Okay. Wait till I'm on it. Oh, that actually works better. Going that direction, all four wheels. All eight wheels go at the same time. I'm just going to stand here now. It's easier. Uh, <laughs> we had about a dozen bottles of water. It was kind of grape flavoured water that we'd bought at Walmart and we just never got around to drink it because we left it in the car and forgot about it. Yeah. Um, and we had it in the fridge last night and it stayed cool in the car actually, but we're not going to be able to drink a dozen bottles of water by the time we got on the plane. So we gave them to the guys in the car park. I made her move. Made my cases. Not as bad as him and his cases though. Right, I think we're gonna need an elevator. Because you're not gonna get up the escalator. Checking. Yeah, definitely need more checking because of that. And the thing is, when we get to Glasgow, we're definitely going to need another luggage car. Right, we will see you when we get rid of these. Ta -da! One last monorail ride. So we are at the airport waiting for our flight. But there is a way. To make this bit slightly less bad, we are going over the there. We're going to the lounge. The club. The club. Right there. Woo. And we go. So the first thing that we do when we get to the lounge is we have a shower and we get changed into comfy traveling clothes. And I guess it's all nice and fresh instead of all icky and park. So this is what you get. We, we went for a family room rather than... Um, well, we decided to share. Yeah, we went for a family room to share rather than separate ones. You do get toiletries in here. You get shower gel and shampoo and conditioner. So we're chilling out in the lounge now. It is quiet, but it's not as quiet as it was the last time we came. No. In fact, it's pretty busy. Uh, we booked it before we came, fortunately. I feel like I'm wearing pyjamas now, though. <laughs> you should come. I put leggings and a baggy t-shirt on. I'm having some snacks. And I did have the nicest tomato soup ever. But it is definitely uh, quite noisy. We're 
we're about two hours into the flight now. We just had dinner. It was alright for plain food. Um, unfortunately, the whole flight so far, my TV isn't working. It's like flashing on and off. And they've tried to reset it a few times. It's just not working. Good thing it's a night flight and I want to go to sleep. Anyway, the um, dessert was like for us gas. Nothing to write home about. But we just had a cup of tea and it's the first cup of tea I've had in three weeks and it was lovely. Oh look at the breakfast we got a bacon roll, Danish pastry, fruit salad, coffee. Because guess what happened in the middle of the night? Apart from the fact that I look like I've been driving to Hedge Barber. Um, as you know, my TV wasn't working last night, so after about three hours of no TV and severe boredom, this happened. We got an upgrade. It seems like bacon and cheese. This what? Like bacon and cheese. Huh? Yum yum. Right, I'm going to eat my breakfast then. Well, we have made it to Gatwick. We are absolutely exhausted. Didn't really get much in the way of sleep on the flight. Yeah. Um, and we've still got another hour and a half long flight to get back to Glasgow. Yes. At least it's lost, like. Yes. And they haven't announced our gate yet, so we're just gonna sit and wait in. We're actually too tired to even go and find a coffee. We're just gonna sit here, and then we're going to go at the gate. Maybe. We will see you <laughs> on the plane, unless we fall asleep on the plane. made it yeah. and we are here at Glasgow Airport. But only in body, not in mind. Yeah, that's mind we're still true. fast asleep. Yeah. And we are about to be very fast asleep, probably for about 16 hours. So that's it. We're just waiting for my dad to pick us up and then we're going home to bed. Yeah. Thank you ever so much for joining us on this very long and tedious travel day. <laughs> See you next time.